But uh, let's get to your Swerve and Hangman match. You love that match. Yeah. I appreciated how hard those guys worked. That style of match is is not my favorite style of match. But I am not going to then judge others for loving that style of match. Um, it, it reminds me a little bit of like a of an action movie where you like the, the, you just can't kill people. Like you just <laughs> abuse, 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 abuse yeah. everything but the kitchen sink, and then finally there's there's an end to it. Uh, but I mean the performances were amazing. I you, when when's the last time? I guess. The last time we would have saw Hangman that fired up was the Texas death match against Moxie, but I thought he was even more fired up here. But then you get Swerve winning the match after Hangman told the audience that he was going to uh, put him under the ground and piss on his grave, and he was the judge, the jury, and the executioner, and at the end of the day, he still lost the match. Yeah. Um. So... I, I, this match was unbelievable. Match uh, of the year? I, uh, you know, you know, you remember the dog collar match, the tag dog collar match from last year with FTR and, uh, and, and, the, Briscoes. The, and the Briscoes? And yeah. And how, you know, it stood out. Was it match of the year? I mean, debatable, right? You could, you could have that argument, right? I don't yeah, there's know. a lot it of great matches. What you, how you like. I could tell you five different match of the years that I have in my mind, and you'll probably disagree with it. It's, it's one person's opinion. But, like for someone that doesn't like death matches, like I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not against blood or gigging or anything. Like you can, you got to tell a story, and if it makes sense for your story and it's done well, I appreciate anything, right? I really am not a death match guy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there have been tremendous death matches out there that that people will unanimously say, no, this is the one. You know, Funko Nita. You could talk about these things, right? I've never seen anything to this level. Is it my match of the year? No, because it's not my preferred style. But holy moly, if I'm going to talk about a match from 2023 that I'm going to remember, it's going to be that match. And it, it's not because it was just a, 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 you know, a car crash. They told a story with what they did. Uh, I, I, and it, and it elevated both of those guys. I watched it three times, Garrett. I'm not, no, no <laughs> bullshit. No, I'm not exaggerating. I watched it. The first time I watched it, I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, but I had to turn it off. It's my wife. You know, it was like kind of watching. I was like, eh, in and yeah. out. I watched it in the morning, and then I watched it again at night after I did the show. I did Observer, and I was like, man, you know, for someone that doesn't like this style, how can I, how can I deny how great it was if I was so invested in it? Now, should Hangman have won? Should Swerve have won? I don't know. The only thing I did not like that it didn't need was the Brian uh, was the Brian Cage yeah. uh, run-in. That was I unnecessary. I thought that was – it was unnecessary because they could have done something else, you know? Uh, I don't think Swerve needed that assist because you built this guy as a major contender against a world champion, a former world champion. They elevated Swerve to a whole different level. Hangman got back to where he was. Uh, ironically enough, I would say when they came out of the pandemic, when I think the, it was the first match on the on the main card, it was Hangman and Brian Cage. Remember that they did it at 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 a um, at, uh, Daily's in, place. In, in, in Daily's place. Sorry, I was gonna say Full Sail over and over again. <laughs> in my head. I don't know why <laughs> they did. Remember that match at Full Sail. Uh, <laughs> I you know the pop for Hangman would that that to me was okay. You know what? This guy is the future of this of this company, right? He's one of oh, those. Yeah. We talk about the four pillars. He's one of those guys that'll be at the top. And then he kind of got deflated, you know, for numerous reasons. This was the first time I felt that this guy was back. And you could build on him. You know, just like how you're building your company right now around MG MJF and everything else that's happening with him. You could have done the same with Hangman. I still feel the same way. I think they created a big star and swerve. Um Again, look how excited I am to talk about this, right? And I don't even yep. like this style of match. So it shows that, listen, if you, if you are open-minded and you watch wrestling and you understand what's good and what's not, you may appreciate this. If, if you're really disgusted by the blood, there's no turning back, right? Like if that, that's, that's your thing, uh, I get it. 
and you'll never be into this. I mean, was the drinking of the blood spot uh, a little much? Sure, but I mean, it added something. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, so let's talk about that the the blood drinking thing. Now, yeah. when you do when you do something like that, you are doing it to sh- shock, right? It's it's for shock value. And the the negotiation there is is the shock value going to be enough for the negativity that people will experience watching the match? Drinking blood, what whatever you feel about that, you know, it's again, it was more shock value than anything else. But did that enhance or take away from your viewing of the match? No, I I, I saw it as heightening the the um, you know, yeah, you could you could look at it and be like, okay, it was for shock reasons. I look at I you know because I enjoyed that match, uh, I saw it as. He is showing how effing deranged he's gotten because this man broke into his house and went into his child's bedroom. You know, like how I, if if I someone did that right to me, I would be deranged. I would be a lunatic. And that's what he did. He he portrayed a father that has lost his effing mind because this man went into his home. To prove a point that you, I I can make you the victim. I'm in charge of the situation, not you. And for, for, for a husband and for a father to feel so, uh, to feel like you can't do anything about it at that moment. I think it brought him to this crazy deranged moment. You know, Mm -hmm. obviously, you know, if I'm, if I'm sitting there and creative and I'm writing it, that's how I'm going to pitch this. But I, I, I just felt that it was, it was done. I, I, I didn't find anything out of place, you know, I, I, I'm glad they went, you know, that they were able to explore this different way of doing this match. And you know what? We're going to talk about this forever. This is going to be one of those matches the next 10, 15 years. People look at this and they say, I cannot believe this is what they did. So if you had an intruder and this person went into your, you have two children, went into one of their bedrooms and infuriated you so much, you would sit under their dripping forehead and drink their blood? Is that what you are telling me? Because I've lost my mind, Garrett. <laughs> I've lost my effing mind. Well, I guess and, you can't also, actually you know get arrested for Listen, that. So that, that's probably a safe okay? thing to do. I'm going to a little behind the scenes conversation here. Do you remember the, um, the Vegas get together? Right. Which one? There were certain people in that room, right? Remember mm-hmm. when we were what we did uh, for Double or Nothing? Right? Sure. JJ was there, right? And he, we were mm-hmm. talking to him. There yeah. was maybe somebody from that is that is in AEW now, right? That was he was okay. there also. Okay. Um, do you remember what I what? Do you remember the conversation I was having with everybody? I I don't remember. Okay. I said, how wonderful would it have been? I love vampire gimmicks. Okay. I don't. Yes. Care how bad okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I love vampire yes. gimmicks. I love the Danhausen. I, 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 and I booked like 1987 to 1989 Bruno San Martino returning. Yes. But he's a vampire. Yes. And what happens? He, 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 he sucks their blood in the match, but he can't with certain people because their blood is tainted, like Hulk Hogan's and Macho Man's. Yeah, he's going to test positive. Too much Winstrel. I can't drink yeah. the blood. You know, I think that person kind of like, was they were coming up with whoever you know maybe that person yeah remember maybe this. that was, was like, oh, you know what let's make him hangman's a vampire he's a brood edge is there, there christian's there he could join in they're all vamp- there vampires dan Housen, put them all together that makes the most sense of anything that i've heard <laughs> as far as why you know what i should i should talk to that person by the way whoever whoever came up with the creative for that kudos to them well uh i will say that my hope is what you said, which is Swerve is at another level because I think he's got it. Whatever it is, I think he's got it. He can freshen up some of this stuff, uh, and I, I just find him to be uh, fantastic. So looking forward to what comes next for Swerve here because he is he is leveling up 